We should be live. We are live. And now I'm gonna go here. Um, um I don't know. Scrapping uh, and initial LSP for our Okay, done. Okay, so I actually should have this in here. And then we can just use... Okay, so let's go to... Uh, actually, the browser. Actually, the browser. So JSON Serialization Haskell. Mm -hmm. uh, I saw, it's not this. I saw another like I use on yes this one. Fast, of course it has to be fast. <laughs> I mean I'm tired of this stuff that it has like fast on it. It's anything and then it's fast. Well, uh, they kind of have a point. Uh, we humans we are very, usually very impatient. Um. Okay, so I need. Um. Use on. Haskell examples. Ooh. <laughs> that was totally not intentional, but I I, I like. It. Uh, okay, so let's see how Michael explain it. So we have a person, right? And it's from your. <laughs> <laughs> Like I, but like I said, this is not intentional. <laughs> it, li it is literally the first link. Makes sense. <sighs> but there's a problem though, which I don't know how we're gonna solve it, because this is a record. This is a record, right? We don't have records in EST. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I f yes, we don't. We don't have. But records. probably there is there is a thing true, because they're both functions. I think in Haskell, right? The record inclusive. Yeah, but there's a well, definitely not. Oh, I mean it's a structure, but. Oh, that's it. Okay, so basically they are they assume they're gonna be yeah because it's a fair assumption I would say. Ooh, okay. So the question now is, ASON Haskell product types examples. Sure. Lesson 40. I... Oh, no, I, I don't have this book. Encoding algebraic data types with ASO and Haskell. That's exactly what I, we want. Yeah, an example value to be encoded might be, which would be result in... Yeah, okay, so this is the JSON translation of this. Because the API response, it is an online, so it's a list of maybe values, sure. I'm struggling how to derive two JSON instance on feature value in particular, which is the exact case. Documentation and DTU encode, encoding with JSON is particularly sparse. Example, the other, otherwise great, which features, whatever. From the documentation, we simply need to provide a function of type feature value to value. The definition of value is also documented and fully exported. So just follow your nose. Yeah, that seems pretty straightforward. Yeah, I don't think it's going to be hard. Ah, cool. Because here's what we need to do. We need to serialize this sheet into JSON and send this through the open connection. I think we can use that on the REPL. Yeah, the open connection part, I don't know how we're going to do that yet, because... Actually, my boss even told me there is a Haskell LSP, whatever. Actually, we don't need to use the REPL for this. But we need a... Yeah, but we're going to need a socket anyway. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but this is for later. So let's try to d discover how to encode this to JSON first. So the first thing that we need to do is to go to Emacs, 
go to this and go to I don't know whatever oh man the color of Emacs is also different and fail to find the GHC version of this stack project that's not good that's not good okay so uh, I should have tried use, develop? use what use Nix develop probably your local high school changed because of like a job I don't know I think it's uh, the reason is because I upgraded. So yeah. Which so version just I have? Nine point two seven. That's the glorious, not correct. The glorious Glasgow Haskell compilation system. That's not correct. I should be using nine zero two. No, just just Nick Shell, dude. Nick's yeah. develop. So that's what I'm gonna do. So um, in here, um, and then. We want this, and then I'm assuming. Oh, dude, but this is gonna use the cache again. I didn't figure out how to fix that yet. Uh, dude, that's I, the situation with the cache. Just a comment, dude. Like these exercises that like school do of like making kids memorize the entire like uh, multiplication tables. It's just it's stupid. Well, I mean, I guess it is stupid, but how some of the I'm not talking about only the multiplication in that in this next sentence, right? I'm talking like because when I was doing I don't know calculus or something, and I figure out why the things are as they are, that made a lot more sense. But at the same time, when I was young, I wouldn't be able to understand the explanation. Dude, you can explain geometry to kids. Yeah, but that's like, that's a different question. So you're not ta talking about teaching geometry. You're, ta yeah, you're talking you're about making, why yeah, but dude, the point is, you're the making formula no, no, no. You're not gonna make question. You're making kids memorize things that they don't know how to use properly. Of the sphere is what it is. That's the question. And I don't know if you can teach this answer this question to kids. You can. I'm not particularly sure, but maybe. Good. That's Euclidean. You, you can you can go through that from Euclidean premises. That's like that used to be, by the way, kids at like I don't know. For example, uh, in 1940 or something, this would be like a subject of like a five grade. Today they're teaching like multiplication in a five grade. Wait, you're telling me that back in the day, the five grade kids they know I how can, to answer this I, question? I. Why did the formula? Yes, because dude, this formula you can you can derive with calculus, yes, but you can derive like in other ways as well. That's how the Greeks did; they didn't have calculus. So, oh yeah, I'm not aware of the other way then. I'm completely not aware of the other way. Which, uh, yeah, it's still doing. Okay, so while oh man, I don't have my Emacs stuff. That's annoying. Yeah, so. Anyway, so the but the thing is, uh, actually, you don't even need LSP for this necessarily. Uh, it's gonna be just like a good to have, but it's not necessary per se. So we need to go to our YAML file. Yeah. Um, Are you gonna go to the the compiler version instead? Uh, we need ASON. Oh, just a minute. I thought you were gonna change the compiler version. We can also try to do that. Uh, so the compiler version that we're using is 1919, which is, I know by, for a fact, it is the 902, but I actually, I'm not aware of, of the LTS version of 927. So we're going to have to search for that. So LTS Haskell 927 for whatever reason. Okay. So 2015, okay, 2015. Okay, so I upgraded yeah. the, the compiler version to use the first stack to use 927 instead of whatever you were using before. I really hate that this is YAML. There's a long <laughs> conversation worst. that because I'm I'm usually I, I am um, currently working a lot with YAML on a day-to-day -day basis, oh, and I have a lot okay. to comment about that. But we can talk about that offline. Uh, anyway. So now that this is in here, we can try LSP. Oh, not in here. So what happens if I enter here? 
failed to find a GH version of this stack project. Error when calling stack setup dash dash silent. Why, my friend? That's my question. That's what I don't know. Wait, but did you spawn Emacs with the develop thingy? No, I didn't. Hmm. Because I'm using, using my native decompiler this time. So there's a trick to know that though. So control G. No, no, no. Yeah. There's a trick to figure out, not to figure out, but to force it, to force stack to know. And I already forgot how to do it because I never do it. How to tell stack GHC version. Uh, yeah, there's that. There's that. No, 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 no. It is a trick that you put in the YAML file again. Which <laughs> which is not the best, but it is what it is. Uh, oh, search, YAML, whatever. Uh, stack YAML. Configuration. That's, I think, what it is. Awesome. Oh, yeah, I really say, like the result. dot matches XML. I I actually I also have my comments about XML also. <laughs> well, yeah, I love XML, man. If I could, I would be using soap. I don't know about that. So okay, so now we have this. So Emacs. There's no LSP only. Uh, failed to find the GHC version of his project. Okay, so I'm gonna actually Google that. Fail to find the GHC version of this stack project. Sure, VS Code, help me. Since your project has stack project, oh, project files. Yeah, it makes sense. Clean because you have other stuff from previous build, oh, I guess. Oh, that makes sense. That makes sense, actually. Oh, okay, so this is done. Which version of GHC we have in here? 902. So that means that we can... We can just... Oops, oops. Yeah, here. We could control Z all this stuff. Go back to 1919. Yep. We can save that. We can close Emacs. No. Yes, and we can do this. And then we can main. No, same problem. Hmm. But this is new because I upgraded to the Nix, uh, Nix, yeah, very new Nix version stuff. Okay, so what I want to do, what I want to do is the following. So let's... Um, do the other way, which is in the stack. Yeah. Don't try to clean though. Yeah, let's try to clean. But let's try to not use the LTS because I found this very annoying to uh, remember. Like I only know it is the 1919 because of the many times I researched it. And now let's do stack uh, clean. Exception by mm. reading is not true. Okay, so this syntax seems to if be. If you wrong. like it, yeah, I think. It's like stack URL that's probably expecting a new stack build. Oh, new um, new line, I guess. It's YAML, right? Don't you need a new line and a new tag? No, but the tag is resolver. Oh, it's just resolver. There, I see up there nightly. Blah, blah. Yeah, there's an example here even. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, but that we have a new error here. So there's something wrong inside here. And recognize flag dash dash add root. I wonder if that happens in a more conventional. It does. Okay, so I can't build the project. <laughs> okay. The is okay. This is outside of Nix Develop, right? Yeah. Yeah, dude. I don't have. You can't build. I can't build the thing. Awesome. So the question now is, what is this? 
don't recognize Can flag add Nick root. Build? Oh, Nick's build you want like this? Yeah, let's see. If it fails with Nick's build, then. Uh, yeah, but I want to know what what is this. It is Nick's related. Cool. Huh? Okay, so if it is Nick's related, I wonder if this is inside the flake. Oh, try <laughs> yes, I would say try adding to git. Um. Yeah, try adding to git. I hate that fact from of Nix, but it is what it is. Root. And that's flake, right? Yeah, but there, there is no root stuff in here. It is an unrecognized flag, you see? Yeah. So this is from 2018. <sighs> sure. But I dare to say that most of the Nix problems, they come from the bad language. Of Nix? Because, yeah, and then it is so much easier to use the the version from Geeks, the... Uh, like the GNU geeks. You know what I'm talking about? The... Yeah, it's okay. Sorry. So we can't just use stack on it. <laughs> awesome. Uh, oh, it's probably well, like because of your bump, right? Your environment. Yeah, but, but anyway, I cannot build anyway, so. Yeah, but what exactly is wrong? I don't know, dude. You're asking me this? But, but this seems to be a Nix problem, but what is wrong with Nix? In order that the stack isn't working. That's the problem. That's what I don't understand. Um, Could be the stack things. version that got bumped as well. Oh, there's stuff in here. It could be the stack version that got bumped. No, but that's okay. Stack knows how to handle multiple JC versions. Hmm. Um, okay, so there's stuff in here that I would not want to lose. Great. So, let's commit. So let's do git add of examples and git add of source. Awesome. Then let's do, I don't know, git commit improve uh, messages inside REPL, which is what I did there. Let's push to master, which means that now we have this and then we can do that. And then we can do this. So yeah, so it is my environment. It is not because we changed the stuff there. Awesome. Okay, so... But... Why inside Nix develop also doesn't work? Hmm. Oh, we can just code like this, Ben. You mean without LSP and it just Nix yeah. build? Without yeah, stack? Ooh. We have docs, man. I don't know about that, but well. Well. Um, we can expand it's... the we can expand the Nix uh, build process by the way, so we can see the errors there. Um, we can expand you mean how do you how do I do that? Uh, let me see. I think I did it once. Nix no, but Nix is not failing. It's only when you call stack. I know, dude. But when we are compiling, if we don't have LSP, the compiler will bombard us with errors. And we want to see because when you build like this, you cannot see the errors, right? So what I want to do is add a verbose mode uh, when you build something. Sure. Emacs is still open. Oh, we have a log anyway, after we finish. Well, we can try to go with on LSP then, just for today. So ASON is not in here. I'm going to add that. ASON. I can go through my Linux, but I don't think it's going to solve well. L let me try. Just sure. a sec. So, oh man, with on LSP is going to be very hard. Well, maybe not. <laughs> it will. Maybe, maybe it will be just hard. <laughs> no, dude, it will be hard. Anyway, so let's go back to where we were, which is copy pasting this code. That's beta behavior, Lance. You just can code with LSP. What's happening, man? No, I can code without LSP. It's just gonna take a lot longer, and usually you are very impatient, Magit. Yes. Uh. I don't know. 
want I want business value being generated quickly. And memeing will not save your soul, dude. <laughs> uh, okay, I guess it's, it makes sense to start from the easiest ones, like the smallest ones, smaller. So let's pick one that is just easy. Um, okay, Litros. Litros is a good bet. So we need Litro com, uh, Prime, right? Uh. So let's start mm -hmm. with two Jason. And let's suppose that you have an L unit of that. Oh, there's some constructors in here. Yeah, these with an LSP would be will be very hard. Okay, so we need to discover what is what are those. So let's open this. Oh, there here they are. Okay, so we want to go with unit to what? Do you know? No. Uh, wait. If we want to go with. We want. We need to map every single thing to one of these. Let me let me see, because I was looking at Linux. Let me switch the monitor. Okay. So we. Need, uh. <laughs> um. <laughs> okay, let me see. Yeah. So we need to yeah. uh, go with one of these, and I think units gonna be new then. Um. No, we don't need to. No, actually, no, dude. We can make an object that has a type and then the type is unit okay. and then the value is nothing it's the value can okay. be null so an object is a key map between a key and a value what exactly is a key map cuz let's think of like representing everything like including the type checker you know oh Okay, so there's a bunch of auxiliary functions. Insert. Okay, so we do know how to do this then. So we need, you want an object, right? An object is just a type alias to a key map value, right? Mm -hmm. So it's gonna be a value that will map from type to whatever is that. And then we're gonna, I am assuming we're gonna use strings then. <laughs> Uh, actually, no, right? It should, if it's a key map, it should be a string to, to? a record. A record? We don't have record yeah. in here. Oh, okay, an object. An object is the record. Because, like, wait, sorry. Oh, never mind. The object is the... Is the key mapping. Okay, never mind. So, it should be type, like a string, yeah. to another string, right? Yeah, so string to string. So, that's what I thought. Okay, so how to make a map? Um, okay, so there's an empty. And then we can just pick a key and pick a value. Yeah, that's very easy. Okay. So this guy will be... Um, insert. And then we're gonna have to pass a key. We're gonna have to discover how to do that. And we're also gonna have to pass a string. And a string will be a text. In this case, will be unit, right? And then we need the map. We want an empty one. Oh, so now we need to discover how to make the key thing. So a key can be a string. Okay, so this is gonna be just type. Okay. Okay. We are probably missing something like okay. So there is which module this lives in. This. So we need to add that to the imports. Import. Give me that. And we also need the other thing from the other file, which lives in here. This guy is ASON types. Cool. We also need that. Empty here. Okay. Next is the integer. So the integer should be fine. Um, so we need l integer. 
then we're gonna do we don't need an object so it's gonna be just number and and I think we are using an integer there so I am asking oh it needs to go to scientific that's why it needs this integral uh, uh, and there is a number there yep a number there sure okay integer is done next we have a, ra a rational I think it's going to be exactly the same so L rational exactly the same um, oops so brainwashed by maggot that I was literally typing maggot clone in the terminal instead of like git clone <laughs> L string. We have text. What is the string expecting? Text. Awesome. So we can just basically say this, and then we can just pass the text. Hey. That's that should be about it. That should be about it. Okay. So now it's the hard part, which is compiling. Um. Oh man. It downloading GC and a bunch of other crap. It's gonna take download the nine gigabytes. Yeah, wait. but I think I think it's gonna be so much uh, a lot a lot more painful if we do it in the okay, so let's let's do the following. I'm gonna remove from the stream my monitor. So now nobody can see anything. And now we will do just as in here we will do um Nix config. I think it's in my configuration. I need to comment out the cache because this is not going to scale up well. So, no caching. This is special caching in this case. Um, now we need to um, do Nix this. Oh, you're just removing so you can share the yeah. cache sheets, right? Yeah. I need to remove the caching because, well, work constraints. Also, check if there is a Nix verbose, Nix build dash dash verbose, something like this. Awesome. Um, so, before we do anything, uh, I'm going to actually. Oh man, I don't know if we are inside. Uh, oh, we are. So I'm going to get that out of this, and I'm going to do Nix build and see if we see anything confidential before I put the screen back on. I didn't see anything, but we have an error. So screen back on. So things went just fine. Um, hey, uh, to be completely honest, I should actually kill the buffer. Uh, oh. Control X, Control K, right? Uh, yes. That didn't work. So I'm assuming oh, it's control right. XK. Yeah, I don't know. I just pressed my memory. So I need to remove... I need to kill this. Okay, now we are safe. Uh, okay, so failed to import. Could not find module. Yeah, we found, we found having the thing. Um, did I add... Oh, this is Nix, so it's dumb. Uh, so git add this. Okay. Didn't help that much. So there's a bunch of stuff. There's a bunch of extra stuff that are not completely aware why it's in here. Where's the arrow? Oh, here. Yeah, just couldn't find it. Just can you hear just me? Like that. Yeah, I can hear you. Yeah. Awesome. I could get the thing. Let's see if I can build this project. Oh, if I have the LSP as well. Yeah, having LSP would be huge. Um, but there's something very, very interesting it would be going pretty on. I started Max inside Max, man. <laughs> it would be pretty cursed. <laughs> Not <doing. laughs> 
promise I will not do it. Uh, yeah, don't do it. ASR. Yeah, it isn't here. Why it is not finding the thing? That's very annoying. Did I get status this? Yeah, but it still we couldn't find. Could not find module. Oh, then I forgot my Emacs configs are inside the Nix. So I don't like this. I think I will revert this because it kills the purpose of Emacs, like being dynamic. What do you mean? Uh, like having your Emacs config in Nix because, like, the point, like, the manager the dependencies and such, because it kind of kills the point of Emacs, which is like. Iterating over the same instance, like open, the same Lisp machine open. I'm basically like just handling it as a static binary at this point. Okay. Mm. I don't know why the LSP Haskell is commented. I have an, I have an idea, Lamas, do you? <laughs> Wait, so the, the LSP is commented out? Uh, wait, I am building again, my configs. Uh, oh, you mean your config. Okay. Yeah, my configs, yes. Okay. Yeah, but I'm not understanding why it's not importing things. That's what I don't understand. We have the thing. The, the fact that I can't use stack. Uh, I can't use stack. Just wait, I second. can't use stack, so that means that this is wrong. Oh, dude. What? Nix is not updating the Cabal file for it? Oh, that's terrible. Ooh, that's bad. Well, let's hope that I can. That's extra bad there. So, we want an executable. So, I think I can, I can just... I shouldn't be doing this. You should never do this, but... It is what it is. So, build. Do I have to do git add stuff? Probably not. Because Nix is stupid. Well, at least Wait, you can this read this error message is different. It is a member of the hidden package ASON. Perhaps you need to add ASON to the build depends on your cabal file. That's... So you, do you mean this? ASON? I'm just guessing at this point. Because, the, like I said, oh, that worked! Woo hoo hoo! Okay, <laughs> okay, so definitely Nix is stupid, so it's not changing the Cabal file. Um, awesome. So, so let's do the following. Uh, let's uncomment this and see what we get. Oh, it's right. a lot more stuff. Okay. Could Wait, match so expected. Okay, so what happened, right? So how does stack work? You manage the YAML file. You you manage this file, package.yaml. You do your config. This is where the humans uh, interact with. Okay. And then stack does the 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 hard part of managing this guy, which is the spatula.cabal file. Which at first was supposed to be a human managed file. Yeah, yeah, but that that didn't go very well back in the day. <laughs> So awesome. then, because we're not using stack, we are using only Nix. Nix is not smart enough or not configured correctly to have the same behavior of, oh, the YAML file is different. I need to change the Cabal file because stack actually calls Cabal behind the hood. So that's the, that was a problem. So I added the, I went manually and I added the, the package to the dependencies inside the Cabal file and that worked. Uh, because I can't use stack, so I don't know why yet, but I can't. So well, now we can debug it properly. So that there's the error there. So couldn't match expected value uh, uh, object. Oh, we need to wrap that. Do I have to wrap that? Because it's saying that is expected a type uh, type type value with actual couldn't match value with key map value in the expression Wait. insert. So the insert is problematic. Okay, so let's see an example of how insert works. Object. 
Oh, there's an empty object instance. Yeah, but we don't need that. Um, so let's go to key map. Let's go to insert. There is no, there is not an example. So key. Um. Oh, so I need to call this actually. I forgot. Sorry for that. So to JSON. So we need to actually to call a from string in order to transform this to a key. Sure. I hope the GNOME doesn't die. Variable not in scope. From string. I probably forgot the import. Yeah, but from string lives where? It lives in no. No, it don't, doesn't live in here. So I need to oh I know what I need to import. I need to import the same thing that I have in here. Uh, data string. So there uh, whatever. Okay. So now is it complaining that couldn't match expected value with actual key map value? That's very interesting. That's very interesting. Do we have okay I want to see the full logs of this. Maybe we have something before that. The fact that the full is only ten lines kinda of bothers me, but there is a con there is a flag to change that. But. Uh, can't you use less instead? Oh, it's already in the end. No, this is the only error that's gonna give us. So, couldn't match expected type value with actual type key map value. Hmm. So, it is expected value. It is. A, is it a key map? Yeah, value it is. Instead of key map string. No, no, but a string is a value. That's the thing. So if you go here, if you go, string is yeah, if you go to value. Okay, their string. It's not. Okay. Yeah, their string, not the normal yeah. string. Their string. Yeah. So it is. Uh, we are building a value out of this, and then we are just using the insert with the with the trick there. So um, where it is? Where it is? It is in here. So you grab a key, you grab a, uh, a value, you grab an empty map, and then you have the, the new map. <sighs> so, what about using singleton instead? Because that's that kind of our, what we want. Yeah, that just initializes the, the thing. That works. Yeah, so singleton. I'm going to pass a key and I'm going to pass a, ma uh, a value. Um, yeah, so what? let's go back also to the yeah, this guy. Yeah, so it's just saying string out of like literally string. So build. I think it's going to say the same thing. Yeah. So. Oh, wait. I know. I know. I do know. So this entire thing is a key map value. Do you agree? Okay. But what is actually expecting after the, 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 the type signature of to JSON function is to you to provide a literal and I'm gonna and you need to give me a, a, a value, right? So it is a, this error message actually makes sense. So what we need to do is to discover why it is not auto converting the key map to a value thing. Oh, I think I see. Mm -hmm. Because an object, this is this is an object, right? So why? why it is not doing the thing yeah and as, as you can see there's an, a thing called empty object right in which it is already a value but a, an object it is a key map this is just a type alias i don't know why it is not understanding that why you are not understanding it that's a good question do i need to wrap that thing is that what you want like object is that a thing? Let's see. Oh! 
Oh, it is. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so there is a constructor for that. Okay, my bad. Okay, so no instance of. Oh. Oh, that me that's a problem. Okay, so we can't call from integral to the rational number. Okay, so what classifies as a number? It is a scientific thing. Awesome. So we need a function that goes from scientific to rational. Oh, well, the opposite. Uh, rational to scientific. Unsafe from rational. <laughs> <laughs> Rational to scientific. Mm. <laughs> oh my god, dude. Oh, let's see. Is there an explanation? I didn't think about it, so is there an explanation why? Although from rational is unsafe because it will throw errors on repeating decimals, unsafe from rational is even more unsafe because it will diverge instead. Uh, though it will be more efficient because it doesn't need to consume space linear in the number of digits in the resulting scientific of detect to detect the repetition. Okay, so there's a problem with the rational representation. Um, so we're going to have to discover how to fix that. Uh, unsafe from rational. I think I'm gonna, we're going to use just this then for now. I don't see Oh any. man, it's building Firefox. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but this means adding a lot in here, uh, which is not always great, but well. So is this where it lives? Yeah, so scientific. And then we're also going to have to change this in the dependencies in the cabal. Scientific. Okay. Scientific. And then in here, we can just import it, data.scientific. Um, scientific. It is really building Firefox. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just leave it here. Uh, unsafe okay. from rational. Okay, so we're gonna have to do that. Unsafe from rational. Let's see what happens. We're not making this in the same module, are we? What do you mean? Like splattering this experiment inside the other things, are we? Kind of, yeah. Can you show the file? Yeah. You're making site types, dude. I think we should do it like in another file. Because I'm going to lose myself like very quickly. Although, okay, you're just making an instance there, right? So it's like it's everything is going to be inside of this, I guess. Yeah, I don't know how that's usually managed because usually you only see like a type per file. But this has a lot of intertwined things <laughs> so <laughs> so uh i decided to go with everything in one file i need to discover what the bad the best way of doing that when i finally fix these the the, the fire directory stuff and the organization of things yeah a lot longer this time though so maybe that's good news maybe oh i did oh, okay, okay so we know how to serialize uh, literals. That's Can awesome. you try to add an end? Oh, uh, sorry, uh, endpoint on the REPL that spits this JSON. Let's try uh, to do that. Like you have uh, an you expression. Mean a, a, a special yeah, but command. we need to do. We need to also do this on the expression, right? No, yeah, but one thing at a time. One thing at a time. Yeah, but so, to test, we need to do that. That's what I'm yeah, saying. Yeah, no, no, that's so. Dude, our REPL will have a completely different type of power. People will be able to see. Yeah, it's not really <laughs> the REPL, right? But, dude, for example, like Clojure does the same thing. Like, you connect to the instance open. Okay, so. Uh, not only Clojure, right? That's a Lisp thing. So, yeah, there's that. And just okay. mention Clojure because it has a Lisp. But... Okay, so this is very easy to add. 
thanks to the organization. This fire is very, very great. This rapid one. Do you think it's gonna compile Firefox in less than 40 minutes? Uh, are you co why exactly are you compiling Firefox? Because I bumped like to update, I forgot to selectively change my oh. my log file, and then I am bumping everything, and then Firefox was included here. Oh, so that's why I got a welcome message today. When I because I also updated Firefox. No. No. <laughs> Great. So what we need to do? What we need to do? We just need to call that function, right? We just need to call the function. So. It's gonna be yeah, but for the expression, right? We assume we have one expression. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is the expression, the AST. Mm -hmm. We just need to do. We just need to do. Oh, well, just call the true JSON, right? I guess. Um, REPL, Which that? doesn't exist yet for expression. Generic REPL success. And we want to print that. Uh, we need to call to JSON on the SD, and I think that's kind of it. So actually, let's take an example of um, of how that would, would work. So how do you? I don't want to call to JSON. I would, probably, probably there is a better way of doing that. So how do you call the it is encode? Oh yeah. Efficiently efficiencyalize JSON value as a lazy thing. So we just call encode on that instead of this. So encode. That should work. So then we can also do import that uh, is on types. And for now we just need encode. And now we need to fix what the thing that you said before. We need to have the expression thing do that. Do that. But there's a problem though, which is that I'm not completely aware if we're gonna be able to. No, not this. I'm not completely aware if we're gonna be able to do that without doing the rest. You know what I mean? Because mm. usually we would do the REPL, but we don't have the REPL because tech is, is busted. So we found the we we lost the rep. Uh, so we would we would do expression prime in here, and then and then um, we would have only one case. But I don't know if that's going to be able to compile if GHC will allow. Can't that. we add a generic case and then do nothing like yield them random? Yeah, so I that's think what we I'm can thinking. make it so E literal and then literal. What we're gonna do is literally call to JSON on the literal in here. Literal is that? Yeah, that is a literal prime. That's important. Okay, everything else. Everything else. Uh, so everything else. Uh, what is the type of the to to JSON thing? Isn't there an empty thing? Empty value. Oh yeah. Right. Yeah. Empty value. Let's see if this compiles. My guess is no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so a polling port. No, but this file already has that, so I think we're missing something else. So let's go to the beginning here. Oh, it's empty object. Okay. Is there an empty value? That's a good thing to know. Uh, empty... No, but object we do, right? Oh, it's not, it's not, it doesn't not even lives in here. Yeah, it's on the other file, I guess. Okay, so it's yes. in here. So, uh, encoding... Empty array, an empty object. We don't have an empty value. Oh, that makes sense. Well, the empty value should be new, I guess. But mm -hmm. module ASON types. Okay, so it's not types. It is ASON.
Okay, the fact that it did this, it already finished the the types, which means that we because we are already doing the repo, so the types are already done. Which is great because that is, that that means that our trick worked. Our trick worked. Okay. Encode st. Oh, I know what that is. So encode we need to actually remove the metadata. Please work. Imagine if that works, that would be like, I don't even know. <laughs> It would be jubilant. Okay. So. Okay, so there is a type mismatch, but Nix is not showing me. Hello, Nata. Hello, Nata. Oh, there's a bunch of warnings. Cool. Yeah, this time we got through a lot of things. And anytime. Okay. So couldn't match expected full node whatever whatever. Mm. Okay, so I wonder oh I don't oops. I don't have LSP. So But all this time and it's still building. Oh yeah. Oh I think I know what this means. Yeah. Okay, so encode. Hmm. Yeah, I think I know what this means. I think I know. Hello, hello. Hello, hello Anto. Anto. We're doing. Smart. Well, we're trying to make a JSON out of our EST. Yeah. Wait, that's a bit random. What the fuck, man? Uh, on Spatula, we're trying to spit a JSON out of the ST, so we can like, we can do like leverage the Haskell services in anything. Uh huh. So if you want to do, I don't know, a Erlang module, we can. <laughs> <laughs> well, not nobody's saying that you should, but you can. Yes. <laughs> you can. If you want to do a... Oh, dude, I saw a project, by the way, that we could do some other time in the future. I think it would take not that much time, but it wouldn't be that easy. I'll send on the... We already have one similar, but here. Project yeah. decision. Oh. Almost here. Check that out later. It's a F sharp clone of like a service bus uh, it's like a rabbit in queue where? i sent on project decision oh up there okay so it's f sharp friendly small services yeah it's like a rabbit in queue kafka whatever well i have no idea what is that but i'm, I'm... oh you guys don't see right a queue. it's a queue dude. okay so uh, the no, stream yeah, will not know. see this the stream will not see but you guys will so, can you guys see my screen, my, my webcam? Look! Yeah. It's arrived! Yeah, That's Wait, a horrible uh... idea. <laughs> <laughs> it arrived! <laughs> you see Nata? Huh? I'm not saying I would wear, but it does happen with us. <laughs> so. I would wear for sure. Is it in real life, right? Make empty node. I would wear for sure. Okay, I think I fixed the problem. Ah, okay. So I'm gonna have to fix that, for, like, um, fix oh, properly dude. later. But I have a story about Mongo later. I'll talk about it. Sure. It involves Belani and Mongo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
Dude, it's still building, man. What's so good? <laughs> what the heck, man? Dude, man, is it even using all my processor? It's not, right? There's no way, man. I don't know what you're building, dude. Like, it's Firefox, uh, dude. Firefox <laughs> and Red. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> oh, no, dude. There, uh, dude, I have 24 CPUs. It's using one. <laughs> Emacs Thank philosophy you. for you. <laughs> oh, man. That's why it's taking ages. Yeah, it finished. Okay. Awesome. So, can we test? So, result bin spatula uh, dash r um, j1. Oh, it... oh, okay, see. No exhaustive patterns. What? No exhaustive patterns. Oh, I know. I know, 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 oh, I know. But I should I should make a fix for this that doesn't explode in your face. That's definitely a thing. So um, here JSON. Oh, there. And the function is get JSON. Yeah. So that should be in. No. Yeah. So w this is where the. This is where the special option is recognized, and you pipe the function that you made for it. So, but I should make a special case for it. Oh no, that that wouldn't work normally. That wouldn't blow up. It blew up because I already added to here. So that's why. Yeah, so that's why. So, Nathan, are you there? Yeah. So, some news, some piece of news. Uh, I upgraded my system yesterday, right? Which means that I am using the yesterday's Nix, right? Which is an accomplishment, given that I was using September's Nix. Uh, what do you mean by yesterday? Literally yesterday. Okay. So there, if you go to the Nix OS repository on GitHub, you're going to see a lot of commits from yesterday, prob probably, and I'm using the, the, the one of them. Instead of the oh, one you are using like not the how can I say what was not the, the release that we're the one but audio like unstable oh, did, right? Oh, dude, that sucks. It could be like a a, a totally wimpy, needless driver, but audio <laughs> that's kind of. Um, didn't... this is the parser blowing up. Unexpected parser space. What? Unexpected parser, space. but wait, parser blowing up on the J. Oh, no, no, wait. Unexpected space. Expected yeah, space. That's, that's strange. Yeah. Type okay, have, 1. Yeah, let's... Can I ask the type of 1? Yeah. You can. Yeah. I can parse 1. So how do I do the type check, the, the type, the checking of the type? Here. So... Uh, oh, so this is the type. Okay, okay, I see. Oh, and, oh, I didn't finish, right? I didn't finish the, 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 the process there. So I upgraded the thing, and everything is working so far, af apart from some small inconveniences, like I can't push, I can't pull the, the bar, the, the, the toolbar anymore. Uh, but everything else has been working, until, until we tried to do stack stuff. Stack is not working, which means that I, I can't use the REPL. <laughs> So because I can't use the REPL, we are embedding the JSON aspect to our REPL because I can't enter our REPL. So that's what we are doing here. Um, that's what we're doing. And I don't know why this is not working at all. JSON, um, I don't think it's that, right? Because it's from the library. I'm going to yes. add a space here. That's my gut. Because I think the, the way that I did it was, if you add a space, you are basically parsing that space. Mm -hmm. Yeah, makes sense. Because uh, yeah, the options that don't require space, like... Oh, quitting. yes. Environment. Yes. Makes yeah, sense. That doesn't require that also. So I think mm -hmm. it's the space problem. Uh, so I have to fix my stack in order to us to be able to use to not use Nix, because we can still use Nix, fortunately. <laughs> But we can't. I can't use stack, and I can't go to the can't go to the REPL because of that. Because normally we now that we have something compiling, we would just go to the REPL and test it. But because the uh, Haskell REPL is com not working for me now, 
we are embedding that option to our repo, which uh, apparently uh, Clojure does, according to Magit. Yeah, Clojure, uh, well, Comolisp and Geyser for Scheme, they also do the same. So they allow you to see the the serialization after the serialization of the ST stuff. No, 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 wait, not the serialization. Like they connect, you can connect to it and then get some metadata for the objects and such. Yeah. Uh, uh, okay, do you just have, okay. <clears throat> so... Why? Oh, the string it has the, the things like right this. I think we should remove them. Yeah. <laughs> this, you know, the, the, the escaping of the strings is just our printing. This is not um, the, the, we are printing that. That's the problem. But this is working. Look, I asked for the unit, right? New. And the object was made. Awesome. So I think the only one that we are not doing is the rational now. So let's try one two. Huh? <laughs> what okay. happens if you do it like that? Okay. 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 I forgot the use of it. Why do we want a JSON? Because LSP. LSP. Oh. Uh, okay. Well, we could do the LSP in Haskell, and then we wouldn't need to do this, but. The well, support to be honest, I'm just I'm probably than... that's what I'm gonna try to do offline in the near future, like trying to use the Haskell's LSP support, but well, let, just for try, the sake of try, learning the JSON. Let's try stuff. to do the following then. Why don't we do a LSP in Haskell and another in F Sharp and compare the the tooling? How how much better it will be, each one of them. Mm. But how have you done that? Did you use the Derive JSON? Uh, no, I actually implemented my own. So if you go to to JSON. Coding in the coding? No, only in coding. Oh. <laughs> uh, okay. So that's how we are doing it. So we picked a simple type just for starters. So we picked the literal with known met with not metadata in it. And we took a look on the on the library on the on hackage and we did the thing so it's this is how you do it and then because we only parse expressions we don't parse literals we, i also had to add an instance for the expression so in here so what we are doing is basically telling if you are a literal that's great but if you're not you're just empty bro um, so that's so that's how we do we did it so now we have an uh, capability of testing the thing. Oops. We have the capability of testing that in the repo itself. So I think the only thing to do now is to just implement the other ones. <laughs> Which is gonna be a lot of work. Oh. Let's just do for the bare minimum, which is like, let's see. Uh, what would you want to complete? I think, think, that, the, I think that, oh, you want to complete? Yes. Oh, that's a hard question. Because that's I think the main the types... feature of LSP, I guess. Right. I think types would be a good, a good idea. Yeah, but that's like hover, right? Yeah. Uh, because we don't have objects to do like something like, I don't know. Oh, a record, dude. Oh, a record. Because, yeah, because, oh no, but wait, our record is like getter in... <laughs> Never. Uh, wait, it's not can like you the question again? Uh, I wanted to know if we have something that we type dot and then it com and then we can do completion with this, but I don't think we do. We don't. We don't have anything with that. Well, so we don't need the dot thing. You can so we can just parse functions. So let's try to just parse declarations of functions, and the, and the oh, okay. Also, let's not forget to parse the prelude. Right, we need to do that as well. I get it. Hmm? You, um, uh, forgot. Um, <laughs> are you okay? Stroke here. <laughs> are you Everybody, okay, Nathan? Everybody's dumb today. Man. Uh, oh, okay, I remember. 
<laughs> you cannot complete anything the person is typing, dude. You just look at the context and can be any variable that is available there. Okay, so are. in order to do the prelude, because this is going to be an object, I'm pretty much just sure. Just think of this, just a sec. We don't need to parse everything. We just need to parse the type. Yeah, the type. That would be my suggestion. Just the parameters, if it, in the case of it's a function, but that goes inside the type, right? Yeah, a parameter is going to mean name, maybe. Uh, let's see. Uh, yeah, we're gonna have to do this one. So yeah, the type and, and the kind of it. Right? Wow, well, that's already included on the type, right? Not the kind kind. I mean the like if it's a function or but declaration. I mean. Actually, yeah. no, dude. We just need types. Oh, dude, we can use the type checking to do this. I think. What do you mean, dude? Because the type checking adds stuff to the context, right? So we can just parse the context. Oh, but we don't have everything there. Never mind. Um... Yeah, I thought of a very convoluted way. I think it would work, but... No. Um... So the T unit... Um... I'm gonna ma basically. Well, I, I we need to change this there. Oh, so and the name of the thing, obviously. Uh, here, so this is actually uh, not this. This is a literal. So true JSON T unit. Yeah, this. What is that? The name? Yeah, the name of the thing and the type. Right, those are the things that matter. Yeah, so this, these ones, all of these ones would be objects, or because they're always going to have the type written? Is that the idea? I'm asking. Uh, wait, say it again? So all the types that we have in here, they will be in a, a map between type to something? Well, it will be a map from string. Of, oh, it will be an object, right? That's right. Okay. Where you have the first thing as a type, and the the type and then the second thing the name so there are two things inside this object okay so this is gonna be integer this is rational uh, rational oops oops uh, boolean Boo. and then we also have the string okay now we go to the very very more complicated stuff so um, uh, so the next one is a list but a list uses the internal t list info stuff so i think we're gonna have to make that first yeah yeah so two oops two json uh, of the t list info prime where so we have two json then you're gonna have uh, uh, two cases, right? So you're gonna have a nothing, which I'm assuming is gonna be null, and we're gonna have whatever is in the thing. So just, uh, and then we're gonna have a full node a metadata that we don't care, and the real type, which is this, and then we're gonna just call the the this like that. Done. Okay, now we go back to this. So to JSON, we're gonna have a T list of uh, T list info. I get it, are you there? Yes. Okay. So object uh, singleton. Oh wait, this is not going to be a singleton. Oh, it will. I'm a little bit confused. Okay, so how do we do these ones? That they have, they are a types, but they have other things aside from their name. So let's think. Uh, 
What is what goes inside this tea list info? I don't know. It goes a maybe. A maybe of of a type. So this. A maybe of a type. Okay, so I think we can just make it then. Okay, so we don't need to expand the JSON to the tea list info. We can just do uh can you go back there to the thing? Yes. So we can be a single it none of this will be a singleton by the way. What do you mean? Well we we, we have the type and the value. And, sorry, and the the name of the thing, right? But okay, those are the types. Yeah, these are the things that we don't require any other information, only the names. I see. Never mind then. But because at least can, oh. I think you may be right. I think we may have to have uh, not a single to one. No, but that's fine. No, the list is the same because you just do the type, and then the string would be well list. And then if you know if it's a nothing, then it is basically new. Or it can be a whatever, like uh, a yeah, generic type. Yeah, but that's the thing. I think we should do. Just hear me out. We, sh we should do an object that has type. And then it's going to be equal to t list, right? List, sorry. And then we're going to have a value which will be the t list info information. Why? Because the That's first one. The no, because this we're going to be able to identify what it is. Why not just the list? Because you you why need not? that information. You need the information of the maybe. Oh, but why not just list a, like as a string, list string. Or is or like F sharp, like string list. No, this will be a this will be a string. This will be like this. No no, I'm saying literally a list of strings, like list of integers. So it would be int list. Why not just do this? I am very confused with your example. Can you type that down? The dumbest thing possible. <laughs> um int list. Yeah, it's just oh, a so label. you mean putting the type of yes. the... <laughs> Yes. <laughs> because the list is also a type, right? So it is just a list of something Ooh, else. Duh, dude. And if it's nothing, you don't know it. Well, it's just a new list. Sure. <laughs> okay, so let's think about that. So what do you want is actually to be... Um, can you concat these things? That's a very good question. I need to discriminate, right? If it's nothing, it's new. If it's something else, then you unpack. It's like a default with. To JSON, to list info. It would be something like that. The problem. Uh, where's the new? In the case, this is nothing. It isn't up here. No, no. no. How you're discriminating there? In the case that is. Oh, it's literally new. Yeah. <laughs> oh. I was saying like a label, man. But okay, then never mind. <laughs> no, it's but this, is, this will list. turn to a string. This will definitely yeah, turn it's to gonna a be new list, but no, yeah. that's fine. Uh, okay, but there's a problem though. There's a problem. We need a way to transform because this is a value. This is not a string. In order to our plan to work, we need to discover if there is a function that goes from value to text. Wait, I didn't get it. Yeah, I can what explain again. Problem? I can explain again. So, the, a T list is composed out of uh, of out of a T list info, right? Oh, Which is two J's all generates a value. Yes. Okay, so we need like a. We need a stringify function there. Uh, hmm. Which means that I need to go to this. Or just transform in a moment, right? Oh, it has because a show. A it has a show. We are done. <laughs> Uh, so that means that we can just show that. Um, and the problem is that this is a text, so we need to pack that down. So this is going to be this, yeah. And then we're going to pick this this value. We're going to transform it to these guys. So or it's going to be new. Wait, or it's going to be new. Or it's going to requ request the to JSON of the internal type, right? So int, for instance. Then that's going to be this. Then we're going to transform it to a string, transform it to a text, because this thing accepts a text, although the name is a string. And you're going to concat that with this, and then everything will be exactly as you said. It is very, very hacky, but it is what it is. So to JSON, T anonymous, 
Next one is anonymous records. So, dude. So there's two scenarios for this one. First is the empty list. So what should we send if we find an anonymous record that is empty? Uh, an anonymous record that is empty. <sighs> well, you can just say record. Okay. But, so basically, but wait, can we even do this? An anonymous record empty? The, the parser will not allow that to happen, but... That's a runtime. Oh, just add an undefined, just add an undefined there, mm. dude. So what about this? Yeah, but I wish that would never happen. <laughs> but, okay, <laughs> okay. <laughs> that would never happen because of the parser, but just for the sake of completion. Uh, so let's do it like that. Next case is when you have things in the list. This is when you have more than one. So I'm assuming you're going to do a recursion thing. Yeah, we are going to have to basically make a list. Oh, wait. Oof. Because here's the problem. We Okay, now a little bit like this. Uh, now it makes sense to be a map, right? Another object. So it's a singleton of an object. So, okay, it's an object that is the, <laughs> other, the outer record. And then another object, which are the values of the record. You see, that are basically key values with the names of the fields wait i didn't get it but just a moment so we're going to remove the metadata we're going to have a name so label and then we're also going to have a type okay. is this it's still beauty oh it's finished <laughs> awesome do i have lsp and then no it broke <laughs> that would be tragic Oh dude, I need I need to print this down. I oh, not like this. Like this. Okay, later on I'm gonna send some neon memes because this is great. <laughs> Actually, I'm gonna send it right now. Why not? So. Edit. Uh, I want to crop it. Okay. Done. Share. Discord. Memes. This is basically me and Magetta has to work. <laughs> what? <laughs> awesome. Oh, good. Yes, that's one hundred percent. I'll just give a thumbs up. Please. That's literally <laughs> awesome. Anyway, anyway, let's let's continue the strategy here. So, if you have an anonymous record with a name, a non empty list, what do you do with that? I'm assuming it's gonna have an object. Um, yeah, it's going to be an object with a, a, a with another. Okay, so we can like do. This. Yeah, we can just do one object, and then we just to make make the the labels and yeah, the types. This inside. is not a single one anymore, right? We... Yeah, this is not a single one. I'm going to change that to empty later. Yeah, we can fold, I guess. We can fold. We can fold. We can fold. So it's going to be a fold, whatever. Then we're gonna have have to make the function there. Ooh, the 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 beginning is empty. Cool. Mm -hmm. And we need a list. So actually, we can transform this entire thing to list. List right there. And then the function will pick uh, at the, uh, um, will pick two. I always forget the order because the order in these folds matters. So fold R. Who comes first? Um, the thing comes first. Awesome. So we're going to have a tuple. So we, I'm going to remove the metadata from it. Um, so this is going to be the label. And I'm going to have the type as well. And then we're going to have that and we're going to have the accumulator. So what we're going to do is basically going to be insert label. 
but this is not a normal label this is a from string label from string label the value which is type this um, which is type that a value 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 no this is wrong so this needs to be actually to JSON as well in here yep pretty much uh, and then we need to pass the accumulator and that's it and actually this empty I'm gonna call it initial because it's not completely empty by, by the way because we need to identify this so this is gonna be actually um, initial it's gonna be insert to from string uh, type we're gonna have also a, f um, a string um, anonymous um, record and then we're gonna have pass the empty and that's it that's it, Fun in a functional style. Okay. Okay, so actually I need, um, I'm gonna go back to where I saw that, that, that meme. <laughs> okay, I, I can't unfortunately reshare it to my stories. That's very sad, but okay. Um, okay, so next. Let's see if my LSP works here. To Jason. Now we have Although nominal. You can try and revolt it. Now we have nominal. Oh fuck. The nominal is. Oh no wait. Yeah no, this shouldn't be hard. Oh yeah. So It works. It works, Lemus. It works. Yeah, it's my LSP it's, works. Does stack work? Yeah. I think so. If can LSP do, is working. Can you do stack repo there and see if what happens? Stack repo. Yeah, beauty. Why m mine doesn't? G good question. Actually, that's an that's a good that's a good test. So this um, this stack new um, test nix failure. Party a new project, right? Mm -hmm. But even that is broken. Create a new project from a template. Run stack templates to see available templates. We will also initialize if there is no stack YAML file. We can also specify a local. Yeah, I can't even create a new one. So my stack is completely broken. I remember, did, whenever I see Haskell code, I am a member of Flavio. I, I don't even know why he, he in particular comes to my mind. Oh, I know why. Why? Because he was also a Haskell enthusiast back in the day. No, I know this, but <laughs> my point is, why is specifically Flavio comes to my head like it makes no sense? Hmm. Why exactly Flavio in that sense? I understand. But I think it was because the applicative presentation he made. Oh yeah, that was a good presentation. And nominal record. Mm. And do we care? Oh man, I think we do. I'm very sad. Okay, we're gonna we, we we do care. So we're gonna have to do from string name, right? And then we're gonna have also string and the label of that is gonna be label. And then that Label there. Awesome. Next is a nominal record, but that does have uh, a list inside. And I'm understanding is that's going to be pretty much exactly the same as this, but with an extra field. And nominal. Pretty much but we want this instead of instead of this right yeah we don't need this yeah so label there whoops oh no i need to I'm confused. 
I am confused. I am confused. Okay, so actually it is like this, and then this is done. And then this. Okay, now we know the record is done. Next. Arrow. So how do we do an arrow? Um, I get it? How do we do an arrow? Oh, just... Yeah. It's the same, right? It's also a fold. It's also a fold. It's also a fold? It is that also yeah, a fold? But, but can we show just an arrow? What do you mean? Oh, we can show an arrow. Like, it's a, it's gonna really mount an arrow, right? And then we do the... the... Oh, you mean asking for the, for the string version of the, the arrow? The string arrow, yeah. <laughs> Just, just like the, the loser on the other end, like he passes the, the thing. That's that. You're not hustling, dude. Think of this. Oh, dude. That's bad. That's uh, very dude, we bad. We just want to do a sketch now. We can improve it later. Nathan knows about improving later. <laughs> okay, so... Um, there's a few problems with that. There's a few problems with that. The problem is just like structured things, like uh, like the nominal record, for example. Um, okay, so there's a way. So we're going to have to remove metadata from these things, whatever they are. And also here. Remove metadata. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, okay, that works. So, wait, you want to basically call show, right? Oh man, that's so bad. Yeah, what's the problem, man? Well, Don't I'm just saying, stuff. you're gonna be no. doing the F sharp one, so. Yes, that's fine. <laughs> I, I, I need to, to parse in shitty garbage. No, that's but fine. you were asking for the sh for the shit. <laughs> you were the that's one asking. I just want something so I can start doing this, dude. I I can't <laughs> right now. I cannot start. That's the problem. Okay, so um, so ba that's basically doing object single to again, and then from string type. Uh, and then the value will be this, but actually it's going to be pack, pack of show of, actually for of t, I don't even need to separate them. This sec. Like that, t, like that, yeah, that's pretty much it. Oh man, it's gonna be so terrible to parse. But okay. Yeah, that's fine. Um, okay, so T variable requires a T variable info. So let's see what is a T variable info. It is basically a name or a tuple. Okay. So instance to JSON of a T variable info where. So, if we have a two JSON of a name with some text in it, that's basically going to be string. If we have this name ID with some text and an ID in it, what are you going to do with that? So, how do you ma how do you do tuples in JSON properly? Tuples in JSON, an object. <laughs> like, what are you expecting? Awesome. So, 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 isn't there a better way? It's just not worse than protobufs. Uh, I guess so. So, let's see if we have a from list implementation. No, oh, we do. Awesome. 
Okay. We could also have done a YAML, right? And then you send a YAML over the internet. <laughs> <laughs> that would be cursed. <laughs> It is what it is. Uh, okay, so what I was I was doing? Oh yeah, so I was doing a, a thing. So, Surprisingly, I think Yomo is actually a better format for this. From list. Really? Do you really think yeah. so? <laughs> yes. That's there are no amusing. Moves at least. Amusing. So. Actually, we need to transform that some from string, and this ID is a number, so we need actually to have a number v. And I'm guessing that it, yeah. So it works. Now we can go back to here. So to JSON, um, to JSON, let's do a t variable. Right? And then you're going to have a t variable info. Mm -hmm. What are you going to do with that? We're just going to call that. So to JSON TVI. But we also have to do object, singleton. From just, a sec, just a question. When we declare a function, we add the name to the context with a literal, well, sorry, a value, right? On the other end. When we add a function to the context, yeah, when you do declare the foom, blah, 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 something. Yeah, we add the name with the type to the type context. Because here's what we need to do. We need to basically get the type of, like, type check this function, get the type of it, and insert it with the name as well on this. Mm. Just to start thinking on this, but... I see. Because so far, like, I don't think it, this all gives us much power, right? It's just like, well, the base types. Yeah, I see what you mean. I see what you mean. Uh, yeah, but right now, I can't really think about it, but I will. I promise. Um, oh, yeah. There's a, a, a thing that I always forget. You need this. Um, Jokes on you. Yeah. So not there. So here, here. This is the, I don't I don't need there. And I think we are done. Yeah. Okay. So next. Next is a T for all. For all. And then it has a thing called abstraction info. What is an abstraction info? Abstraction info. It is a T variable info, a kind and a type. So we need to do kinds first. No, we don't. No, we no don't. dude, we don't. No, we do, because I will just call the 2JS implementation of that as well. Oh, okay. Kind where. So if you have an, a star. Um, I think that's going to be just that. So, star. If you have an arrow, you're going to have to do the fold trick again. Which could means... Could be an emoji, right? Could be what? Could be an emoji. <laughs> <laughs> Send any emojis in the JSON payload? Yes. Why not? Why not? Yeah, that's what I was about to say. Why not? Uh, why the f the f the freaking not? Uh, yeah, but that would be I don't know which one is more cursed, the one that calls the show, or with the emoji. <laughs> 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 oh man, that's pretty cursed. Um, we do have a show implementation of that, yeah. Yeah, we do. So this is K. And this is not uh, this, this is this. And to be consistent, I actually am going to change this to a single tone as well. Um, and then I'm just going to do string um, star. And then here kind. 
Okay. Oh, remind me to talk about pragmatism at its peak today. Um, sure, just make sure that... Remember that we are still live, right? So yes, I know. So, yeah, so there's that. So this is my Jason. Um, so this is going to be abstraction info. Where? Okay, so to JSON of, um, we have an abstraction info, we have a T variable info, we have a kind and we have a type. Mm. Uh, this is an object, right? Um, mm -hmm. Which is going to have a single tone of a from string. This is a, I don't know, abstraction info. And then we need a value here. So this value will be hmm. Actually I, I didn't like this approach. So I'm gonna change it. So from list and let's do the triplets. The the, the tuple, sorry. So from string. Um Let's suppose that you find, so this is going to be a um, T type variable, right? And then the other side will be a thing. So that will be to JSON uh, TVI. Um, sure. Next one is going to be a kind and then to JSON on the kind. And finally, this with a type. With a, with a type. And then to JSON T. And that's it. Okay. So now this, the T for all, it has the ABS. I'm going to do singleton from string type people we're gonna ask where did you guys got your convention and then we're gonna Nowhere. say <laughs> then we're gonna say Maget he was the for my, for my head he was the major he, he provided the major approvals <laughs> that's so that's so fucking cursed dude but okay um string I really because think we oh. should not use the show stuff. For... For this. For all? No, this trick that I've, I've been using. Of... Um, use the internal stuff. You you do the 2J song, but you convert that to a string. And at the end, you add the rest of the information. Oh. <laughs> That's so... <laughs> <laughs> like we're pretty waiting. out there with being worse, dude. We're pretty up there. Um, so how do we do show of the type application? I think it. I think it's. Oh no, it's it's fine. Okay. So in this particular case, I'm gonna again use the trick. So this is gonna be I don't know T. And then object singleton from string. And then string. Um, again, pack show and to JSON of T. And then you just concat that with uh, type application. And that's about it. Next, T abstraction. It uses a T abstraction info again. Which means that it's basically copy and paste of this. Um, but instead of doing T for all, we do T abstraction. And here I'm going to put T abstraction. Next, to JSON. Okay, last three. Um, oh man, this one will be bad. This one, because it's a list inside the list. Oh. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> that would yeah. be bad. 
<laughs> a, a little bit, yeah. Uh, so T alias. Um, that is has a full node, which I'm not gonna care about the metadata, so this is gonna be a name. And that is also composed out of a type. Right. So I think I think I have an idea. I do think I have an idea. So this is gonna be this is gonna be um how are we going to do that one? <laughs> okay, so object insert from string. We're going to insert what? So the initial one will be the one that will have this name. So actually, it's going to be name. And the value will be string alias. And we're going to do that on top of a singleton, in which the key will be type. Will be type. And the value will be just to JSON. Um, yeah, to JSON of type prime. Yeah, pretty much. And I think the type alias will be exactly kind of the same, but in, we, without this. Yep. Because it doesn't have this. Oh wait, it's actually the opposite. It does have the, the name. But it doesn't have the... Okay, for some reason I lost whatever is, was going here. So this, but instead of an insert, I'm gonna do I'm gonna go singleton. Yeah, and then we can just put placeholder, and we can loop this, and then placeholder there. Last one. Finally. Algebraic. Uh, so how, how are we gonna do that one? T algebraic. If you have an empty list, I'm gonna go with uh, an object being a singleton. Let me just confirm that we are using the singleton stuff correctly. Oh, yeah. Okay. Um. So from string is going to be type Oh, and this is also wrong. This is type. Okay. And then the value how we are doing the empty string there. Okay. So just new um I don't know algebraic. In the case of this not being empty this is where the confusion will start. Will start. <sighs> We're gonna have to do a little thing similar to the records, but they need to be a lot more fancier. They well, need to be fancier because there's a list inside that as well. Uh, let me think. So maybe um, a fold inside a fold. Let me see the order break. <sighs> I see, because. But what do we need? We just need the... We need everything. Yeah, we need everything. We need to know what are the types. There might be something that is another thing. Yeah, Yeah, but I think a fold inside of fold is a good start. So T algebraic. We're going to do a fold on the main on the outer list. And then inside of that fold, we're going to do another one. So... Yeah, so let's call... Let's call things a few. Let's give names to things. So we are going to have an outer fold, and we're going to have an inner fold. Inner fold. Uh, the the outer fold is this. So and we're just going to grab that. So outer fold. And that thing will receive these things, like that. 
right? But in this particular scenario, these are types. This is not a type prime. Mm -hmm. So we're going to have to make a fold. Oh, dude, I was doing fold R, but actually that matters for you, I, I think. In this particular case, I, it needs to be a fold L in the in here. Why? Because the... Because... Okay, so let's assume it doesn't for, it does not matter for now. So it's going to be fold R, inner fold, inner fold. And I'm going to pass types to it. And I need an, an empty here as well. And then types. Yeah. Awesome. Then, now the inner fold. The inner fold has a list of types. And uh, each type has a full node uh, with the type inside. And you're going to have the accumulator. Right. Yeah. Um, like this. Then, what we do? We do insert um, from string type, and now we need a value, but that's easy because we, we already have the two JSON for everybody else. So type prime, and then accumulator because we're gonna do insert, and I think that's it. <sighs> okay, so Nix build. It's gonna fail for a fact. If it what do you, oh, I was about to say what would you do? Oh it's just a parenthesis. It is just a parenthesis. So line um one this. Okay, parenthesis. What else? Okay. Oh there's uh there are oh the ASON Oh, they have a fold. Oh, so you guys have a fold? Fold. fold uh. Why would they have the fold? It's because... A to B to B, and then you pick the B, which is the initial state. Yeah, Pass so it's a fold map. specialized oh, for the, for the key, map. key map. Yeah, that's not really useful for us in that case. No, it is actually, because I think this is exactly the use case that we're using. Is it? Yeah. But, um, yeah, I think it is, dude. I think actually it is. So let's go to the fold R. Because if you pay attention, we are doing a uh, fold with an insert, right? A fold with an insert, yeah. So I think in this particular case, we can use this version. Uh, no, not that. That. Okay. Okay. And then we can do um, this. And then replace the string. And then we're going to replace fold R with this. Okay, cool. So, this is not visible. It's not a visible method. What do you mean? What? <laughs> it's not what a visible method of class. Did I type it wrong? To JSON? No. How did I did the instance to JSON for the literal? literal? Oh, I typed it wrong. I typed it wrong. Okay, did so you? replace a string. Everybody, every single place that you have that, you're going to convert it to this. Oh, it was like JSON capital. Okay, not star. in scope, star, oh, the K, the K, yeah, star, start, here. Here. okay, so far so good, nothing too bad to fix, next, so the next one, Oh, there are some cases in which we are not doing only... Okay, so that particular case can't be the fold of the key map stuff. Because that, that, that's actually a list of tuples in that case. So, um, algebraic... Uh, yeah, this one. 
So in this particular case, we do want to use the prelude fold. Okay, so expected. It is expecting. Okay, so maybe I was wrong again. Oh, yeah, I was wrong again. This is this can't be as well. Because we are doing a list of types, not a list of um, a list of key map, or oh, not a key map. So next. The algebraic T list. Okay, now it is confused. Expected. Okay, so what is the type of the algebraic? It is type. Oh, the string. Okay, so it's expected to be a string, but it's actually a text. So we are not using that correctly. So let's think about that. Mm-hmm. So it's complaining, and this is not anonymous record, by the way. This is an algebraic. Uh, so it's complaining on the line outer fold. So it's in here. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. So I'm gonna assume I have to unpack this. Yeah. Oh, but is that is that the case? I think we also need to do the same in here. Okay. Everybody else, we are putting the strings ourselves, right? So from string, from string. Mm -hmm, I think so. From string, from string. There's a bunch of from strings in here. Yeah, so it's expected to be that. Okay, so next one. Uh, so couldn't match expected value with key map. So it was expected to have a key map of a key map. A key map of a key map? Does that make sense? No. So initial outer fold. So let me think about that. Let me think about that. I'm confused. How is that possible? It is saying that it is expected to be key map key of a key map. Key map. Key map value. But the actual, which is correct, this is actually what I intended. But something else is requiring that to be this. But what that, that can can be? So initial is this. Initial is coming here. Okay. So this is this. Okay. We are doing an insert of. Oh, I know. Oh, I know. This, mm -hmm. what is the result of this fold? A key map, do you agree? Yeah. That's a problem, because we are basically saying insert, with the key being a, a text, this value. But this is another key map. So the, the final result of this will be a key map of a key maps, which is correct, surprisingly. Which means that the accumulator can't be just this. It needs to be a key map of a key map. It needs to be a key map of a key map. How we're gonna we're gonna have to be creative now because we're gonna have to do parentheses and then single tone and then from string and then we need another thing in here. So I don't know. I'm gonna put placeholder for now. Yeah, because this is gonna be a key map. Right. Mm -hmm. And then we are adding that to this. Yes. Yes. I believe now it's gonna it's gonna be okay. Next, next, next. Awesome. Okay, so now it's not showing the entire error. Okay, so now I need to use the next log. How much time we have left by the way, OBS? Okay, we're pretty much close to two hours, so we have five more minutes. Which is okay. I'll see if I start with the thing anyway. No, let's just see if we... Yeah. Oh, there are some things in here. That mm, would be nothing. Showing. Yeah, so... What? Couldn't match expected type. Oh, there's a constructor. Yeah. Oh, there is another thing <laughs> wrapping. Um, no, 
there isn't. Oh no, there is. No, there is. Okay, so T list info prime. And then this guy will be this. And this guy will be that. Okay. Next one variable not in scope V. Of course. V doesn't this is not V. This is ID. Next. Oh, this is the, the oh, there's more errors. Okay, so Nix was completely not showing us the entire picture. Okay, so the anonymous record is also broken. Um, okay, I see. So let me think about that. Let me think about that. Let me think. So it's saying that couldn't match expected type to be key map. To be key map. Oh, I know. I know, I know, I know. So data is on. I was too. Uh, I didn't think through this through correctly. So this is actually this needs to be that. Oh, okay, because of the. And because you're using oh. list, you're not using key maps in the beginning of the fold. Sure. Next. So it's complaining that this is a, this label is not a. That makes sense actually. So we need to do. Oops. Wrong. There. Full. We need to remove the metadata from these two. Okay, now they will be correct. They will be correct. Next, 214. Uh, same problem. Same problem. I already changed. Okay. And um, 215. 215. Oh no, with the same problem with the metadata. 224. Yeah, that's the one. That's the one that we were seeing there. Okay, so expected object. It but it got something different. It got key map of a key map. Mm hmm. Okay. So wait. You expect that to be an object, but you got a key map of a key map. Oh, dude. Maybe you you can't have a key map of a key map. That's uh, an object of an object, right? Yes, yeah, you in oh yes, yeah, makes sense. So you will need the key map map into a value, and the value is the yeah. So how I'm gonna be doing that? Okay, I have an idea. I think I have an idea. So. I'm going to put object in here because then this is going to be mapping this is going to be a, uh, a key map the internal one I'm going to wrap that with an object which means that now this is a, this map this outer map is a map from a, 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 a string to a value which means that I can wrap with an object again there okay so let's try that Okay. Again, I can we can see the entire the entirety of the error. So oh, man, this sucks. Yeah, not having stack. <laughs> I don't have stack. Uh, sure, expected string. Got that. There from string implementation is pretty is pretty very non uh, non ideal because it doesn't uses the type class stuff it uses literally strings which means that i need to unpack this not good not good uh, now it is a com it, it's complaining that id uh okay i need from into so from to convert the integer to scientific notation next um 2.11 No, oh, it's the same problem uh, The from string stuff So in the middle of a fold we are using yeah here Unpack And this also should happen in the anonymous one. Yeah Unpack 
Next, 214, same thing, fixed. I think this is the one. Yeah, this is the one. So what's the problem? So it's saying that it's expected an object, but it got the key map, of a key map of a key map. But my dude, I already converted one of the key maps to an object, so that should be completely fine. Why that's not fine? Why isn't that fine? Um, let me think. Let me think. Label placeholder. Oh, I see. We also need to put that in here. Oh, okay. the initial value. Hmm? Oh, that was the whole point. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, the errors are getting different. That's good. We are, we are fixing them. Uh, wait. Oh, I, I know. That one I know. Um, which actually reminds me that I need to put in both of them. In both the for all and the t the, the, the the abstraction. You need to remove the metadata from them. Next. Probably the same thing. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. These guys, they have metadata, which we will not be sending, at least yet, right? Maybe in the future we're actually going to have to send the metadata as well. Uh, actually, we should send the metadata together. But for now, I don't think we care. Yeah, I think that for now will be very not, not ideal. So, oh, this is, this is a type, right? Oh, yeah, so this has metadata. So Yeah, well, why do we need the, the, the things uh, like the positions, right, for example? Uh, because, well, the LSP needs to know where you are, right? Yeah. First of all. Yeah, that would be very, very ideal. But for now, we're going to go with a simple implementation, especially because there's a lot of extra metadata going on, because my strategy when I did it was to actually make the thing bloated with metadata and then start scraping that out later, because it's easier in, in, in respect of doing the opposite. Like just adding where you need because you don't necessarily know where you're gonna need. Mm -hmm. uh, so that can be very bad. Um, okay, so T alias. T alias is complaining metadata again. Yeah, probably I think the the errors would be metadata related because I was not caring about that most of the time. So yeah, we we could instantiate. Yeah, we could do that. Yeah, but I'm not gonna do that right now. We could just say that, like, instantiate the implementation of the two JSON of any node with metadata is actually the the the, the two JSON implementation of your 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 content. That will solve all these problems. But because later we want to send the metadata, I I don't want to do that right now. Later on, I can do the opposite. Same thing. So we need to search for a two JSON T. Oh, Swiper is being dumb. Uh, oh no, but it is this one. Um, it is in fact this one. So let's do the, the following. So let's do that. So let's do um, dollar and remove metadata. You're getting there. <laughs> Slowly and calmly. <laughs> Steady effort. Painfully. Painfully. <laughs> I didn't say necessarily painfully, but... This is the bugging, dude. Well, I, I honestly don't like the debuggings that I don't know how to handle. These ones I know. These ones I do know. 
Okay, it's taking a lot, a lot more time this time. It's a little bit work, right? That's the rule. He's already doing the parser. That's very unexpected. Are we done? That would be poggers. That would be poggers. So. Um, the problem, actually, how are we gonna test that without a REPL? A good question. Hmm. We can write to a file. Like, just input something, from, read from a file, and then write to a file. Okay, it worked. So we can go full Unix. Yeah, but how are we gonna call the function? Well, you just switch the REPL. Like, you pass a flag and then you start you know, run that instead of... Well, that's actually not a bad idea, actually. Oh, I like it. So let's do that. <laughs> so, CL... Um, just encode... Um, and it's going to be this. Okay, so now we do uh, encode. And this will be execute um, encoding to G JSON of the... Oh, no, dude, that will not work. Because we do not parse g uh, types, right? We only parse expressions and declarations. Oh, that's true. Fuck mm -hmm. me. Okay. So that will not work. So, but that was a good bet, though. So in the future, after we have the expressions working, I may do that. Okay. So, I I only see, I can only see one one possible option. We need to replace the main function. Um, so let's quickly do that. So the main function, and we also gonna need a, we also gonna need types for it. Right. We're gonna need types. We're gonna need types. So. Oh man, I'm definitely not in the mood of making like a type without the parts. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, okay, this is gonna take too much work for now. So let's do the following. Yeah, let's, let's, let's fix my yeah. stack, and then we can parse this shit. Uh, can I go have dinner first? No, we can do that another day. I, I'm pretty tired yeah, right now. Stop so me. stop recording now.